Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Oakland Travel and welcome to the Celebrity Beyond on a sea day in March of 2023. And picking up from our previous vlog episode, we are on the running track, uh, deck 16. And we're going to take a look here in a second at this very unique little area that is kind of, it's, just, it's technically deck 15, uh, but it's kind of an interesting little sandwich between the pool deck below us and the running track up above us. And we were, because we were kind of spotting for places to do a live stream uh, a couple different times throughout the cruise. And this was one of the areas of the ship that caught my attention was this little deck 15 area that you're going to see here in a second. And right now the cruise director is kind of leading like a little dance class down there by the pool. And so you hear that, uh, you might hear that activity going on a little bit here in the background, but that's what all of the activity is that uh, as the camera pans around and you see the pool deck, that's what they're doing down there. But as we go down this little set of stairs from deck 16, you get down to this little area and there's kind of one on both sides. So you got a little bit of seating over here. You see some people dancing here as they're kind of following along with what's going on down in the pool deck. But it's a very nice, comfortable, you know, seating area here that sort of overlooks the pool below us. I, the hot tub kind of gets in the way a little bit, but this is a pretty nice, pretty neat little area here. And over the course of the cruise, we would see people kind of moving the furniture around to sort of set it up the way they wanted just to kind of sit here and hang out. And we ended up doing a live stream on YouTube from this little area, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you know, you see the, the left side of the screen there, the hot tub kind of blocks the view a little bit, but it's not too bad. And you got a beautiful view of the, the ocean there on the, on the right side of the screen. And that's the running track, the elevated sort of uh, running track that comes down from 16 to down to deck 14. But this is what I'm going to call sort of uh, deck 15 right here. This little deck 15 sort of poolside. Uh, if you look at the the map, uh, the, the deck plan map for the Celebrity Beyond, you, you see it uh, on there. And so this is a little bit more towards the front part of the ship, towards the bow of the ship. Uh, the solarium is right on the other, uh, around the other side of the wall, right behind us here. So the solarium on one side, the pool deck on the other side. So the solarium is kind of back in there as right here as the camera's looking at it. But this was a pretty neat little area. You see a lot of different sofas and stuff. And like I said, people were kind of moving these around as needed almost to kind of, you know, come down here and hang out and, and get, you know, eat in some cases because you've got uh, the solarium, this little juice bar back inside the solarium. Uh, you've got a little grill right below this uh, next to the pool area. So you can go down to the grill, grab like hot dog, hamburger, whatever. Come sit up in that deck 15 area right there. We were just down and eat and so forth. So, but uh, here we are up on the running track now down uh, deck 16, kind of looking down at the pool area. And uh, like I said, they're doing kind of a dance class down there. Um, kind of Latin, uh, yeah, reggaeton, salsa, a couple of different things that I recognized. So that's why you see some of the people kind of dancing here, trying to follow along with what's going on there. The one thing that, uh, maybe this is because of the cruise director, but the one thing that I noticed over the course of the cruise, the seven night cruise is a very, very heavy Latin presence in all of the musical aspects of it. This thing, the stuff that they were doing up here by the pool, uh, the dance classes, uh, the stuff they were doing at the martini bar at night, a very heavy Latin presence, which is cool because it's a very uh, fun, an active uh, musical style. So it does kind of fit with that. And I saw the same thing on the MSC Meraviglia uh, back in 2022 when I did a solo cruise there, a very heavy Latin influence on that cruise as well. 